Okay, so today, guys, in our maker space lesson, we're going to use everything we've learned about electricity and conductivity to build our electrical buzz wire again. So using My name is Pat Butler. I teach 31 fifth class pupils, boys and girls, aged between 10 and 11. I have a keen interest in ICT and STEM subjects in particular. Along with my teaching qualifications, I have a BSc in computer science. I have been teaching in Scalida, Corbally, County Limerick, Ireland since 2005. It is a forward-thinking school that realises the needs of the modern-day pupil by incorporating ICT into all subject areas. For example, computer programming is an integral part of our maths development and planning. It is also a focus of our school's digital learning plan. It was my former school principal, Peter Long, who first introduced me to the concept of a makerspace. He was a huge influence on my professional development and recommended reading a book called Lifelong Kindergarten by Mitch Resnick. I found this book inspirational and a catalyst for getting makerspace up and running in the school. I work closely with my fellow fifth class teachers. Having a mobile makerspace trolley allows us to set up the makerspace in each classroom. The makerspace is managed by the school and is very much at its infancy stage. It is currently only being operated within the fifth class standard. It is not open outside school hours. We don't have any physical makerspace room as I simply have a trolley of supplies that I bring with me to each classroom. Getting the classroom ready for the makerspace lesson requires much of the furniture to be removed from the classroom so that the class can be set up in a safe and secure manner and allow for an ergonomically friendly environment. This particular lesson that I have recorded shows the children working collaboratively as they build an electronic buzzer game. They are using their prior knowledge of electricity to build this project. I have put together a specific set of instructions that the children can refer to if they run into any difficulty. My role as I see it is to be there as a facilitator and to guide the groups through the construction process from beginning to end. The benefits of makerspace are far reaching. The lessons help to develop the children's perseverance skills. If at first they don't succeed, they need to try and try again. This is a lifelong skill and will stand them in good stead throughout their education. The collaborative learning aspect of the lessons is a big positive. I find that the makerspace brings textbook talk and class discussion to life by immersing the children in their own learning. And there's a famous quote by Benjamin Franklin that we often refer to in our makerspace. Tell me and I forget. Teach me and I may remember. Involve me and I learn. Looking back at the challenges that we had to face. Well, funding the makerspace is obviously one of major importance. And it will always be, as the materials required for each lesson need to be continuously restocked. It might be worth seeking some sponsorship from local industries. Piecing together a wide and varied portfolio of lessons has been a challenge. Going forward, I would like to integrate the children's existing computer coding skills into the makerspace. This could be done using the BBC Microbit, which lends itself nicely to the makerspace idea. Setting up a makerspace at our school has been beneficial from various points of view. Feedback from the children after each workshop is always positive, And this is testament to the positive impact that the lessons are having on the children. During parent-teacher discussions, the feedback from the parents is very encouraging. They like the idea of the children having an apparatus or a project that they can bring home to help illustrate what particular aspect of science they have learned during the makerspace lesson.